Hello everyone, it's time for the Newton and Momentum episode. Isaac Newton has to be one of my favourite scientists of all time. He discovered the laws of optics, where he basically discovered uh, that white light consists of seven colours. That's quite freaky right there. And then he recombined all those seven colours and it gave back white light. That really confused the artists of the day, mixing paint and not getting the colour white back when they mix all those seven colours of the rainbow. He also discovered the laws of motion. He discovered the laws of universal gravitation. And he, he didn't discover, but he invented calculus practically on a dare. Calculus, differential and integral calculus that everybody slogs through at university. He invented it when uh, one of his friends, Sir Edmund Halley, visited him in Cambridge in his home and he said, why is it that the planets um, revolve around the sun in sort of elliptical shapes and not in perfect circles? And he said, you know, I don't know, but I will, I will try and find out. I'll work on it. And about six months later, Isaac Newton came back to him and he said, well, uh, you know that uh, they move in the shape of uh, conical sections, like if you cut a cone on, in different angles. And I had to invent uh, a special type of mathematics called calculus to work this out. And he could explain how the planets move around the sun through calculus. So you might ask, what does Isaac Newton have to do with momentum? We know the law of uh, Newton, which is his force law, Newton's second law, stating that net force is equal to the product of mass and acceleration. Basically, it means that uh, in order for a body with mass m to accelerate in a certain direction, a net force has to act in that same direction to make that mass accelerate in that direction of that net force. So actually what people don't know is that Isaac Newton actually stated the second law of motion in terms of momentum. You might wonder how. Let's clear this and see how this works. So we're looking at Newton's second law expressed in terms of momentum. You are expected, according to the exam board, to know how to derive this formula. So everything starts with Newton's second law as is uh, logical. And so you always start with F net equals MA for this uh, type of derivation. Now, we know that acceleration, the definition for acceleration is the rate of change of velocity. So you can replace acceleration with delta V over delta T, because the rate of change of velocity is that change of velocity divided by the change in time. You can now see that the product of mass and change in velocity is change in momentum. I divide that by time and that, voila, is Newton's second law expressed in terms of momentum. What does that say in words? Basically, the net force acting on an object is equal to the rate of change of its momentum. And that is exactly what that formula says in words. So let's do a calculation. This is a 2000 uh, kilogram hot rod car that increases speed from 20 meters per second to 30 meters per second in five seconds. Please underline all the values given to you and please write the physical quantities of each of those values on top of them so that you can make sense of what's given and what's asked 
and then choose the right appropriate uh, formula for your calculation. So you're given mass, it's already in the right unit of kilograms, you're given um, an initial velocity of 20 meters per second, a final velocity of 30 meters per second, and you're given a change in time. So now we want to know what is the resultant force applied by the car engine in order for this car to increase its speed from 20 to 30 meters per second in five seconds, if its mass is 2000 kilograms. All right, so basically we're going to say, what is the formula that we have just derived? We know that according to Newton's second law, in terms of momentum, F net is equal to delta P over delta T. I can further um, expand uh, delta P as MV minus MU. Please take note that V is final velocity and U is initial velocity. And I divide by time. I substitute my values in where mass is 2000 kilograms, velocity final is 30 meters per second. I subtract the mass of 2000 times the initial velocity of 20 meters per second and I divide with five seconds. That gives me a final answer of 4000 newtons in the direction of motion, in the original direction of motion. And that is how you do these um, net force, uh, including change in momentum calculation.